In this tutorial, I will show you how to blend your foreground with the background using various adjustment layers. So guys, so from first we will start by creating a new adjustment layer that is a curves. So select the curves and right click on it, create clipping mask on it and we will match the lighting using the channels. So from there select the red and from the curves adjustment select the red. So we will match it. And now go to the green. A little bit of it. And now to the blue. So you can see the difference. So we'll create a, another adjustment layer that is the curves and we'll just pull it down. And we'll paint some of the areas. Set it to 30%. And so create a layer mask on it and we'll mark the layer so it goes behind the tree. So you can see the difference right now. Now we will create a luminosity map to check the colors are right or not. So we'll create a new layer and go to edit, fill 50% gray and set it to luminosity and we'll create a, another adjustment layer that is hue saturation and set it to 100. So now we will create a selective color adjustment layer so we can match with our background. So let's start with the CN. So we will let the magenta to around like uh, 1 and yellow to So I think it's absolutely fine. In the next step, uh, we'll make a ground contact with our dinosaurs. So we'll just duplicate the BG layer, Control J to duplicate it, and place it above the dinosaur layer. Now create a layer mask on it. Select the soft round brush.
So just to paint on those areas, it looks absolutely, uh, it looks more realistic. So we will create a few more adjustment layer to make the make our composite more uh, realistic. So we will create a new adjustment layer that is a color lookup, and from there select the night from day, and set the opacity to fifty percent. Now select the gradient tool and from there select radial gradient and we will create a light source coming from here so just drag and drag it down and we'll create uh, another color lookup adjustment layer from there select the futuristic flick and set the opacity to 40 percent and we will just increase the opacity a bit and create a curve adjustment layer so just make our highlights and contrast a bit strong and we'll create another adjustment layer that is a selective color so we'll adjust our tones a bit so for we'll just the cyan first So we are done with our composition, just group it, so you can check the difference how it's coming now. And uh, finally we will make a few corrections uh, in our composition so you can see a little bit of leg coming out of the tree so we will just uh, mark it off. Select the brush tool and Select the marks layer and just so it looks absolutely fine now. Now create a new layer and this is our final output. So control shift alt and E to merge all the layers. So if you turn on the luminosity map, you can see the color is totally match with our foreground and background. So you can use this technique to create your own composition. Thank you guys for watching my video and don't forget to comment and like my video and do subscribe for more updates. Happy Photoshopping.